So the event that we have tonight is called Night on the Fifth, and it's a reception for artists that are uh, featured in our superintendent's student art gallery. And this event was started by our superintendent, Dr. Green, who came to me and said, I'd like to have some beautiful student artwork just outside my office. Let's feature some middle school and high school students. We'll change the gallery every two months, and I'd like to have every school sign up at least one point during the year so we can feature students from all of our schools. This particular reception features students from Horizons Academy, from Hale Middle School, King Middle School, and Braden River High School. We have 28 students. We have works that are three different sizes and they're displayed on the walls throughout the fifth floor here at the Student Support Center. I decided to do this painting. I was hanging out with a couple family friends and they do have horses like I do. But um, I saw a horse walking outside one day and um, I was talking to my art teacher and we were discussing different elements and textures that I could be working on and water came across. And I happened to see, remember um, talking about that with him. And when I was there, I saw the horse walking in the water. So I decided, well, might as well put the two kind of lives that I've grown up with, um, horses and art, put them together and as well practice a, um, I guess a skill that I, I could improve on, which was water. So that was my main focus on this whole piece, as well as getting the, um, the asp aspect of the horse down. But um, I definitely focused on the water of this, and um, just overall, I, I tried um, creating a piece that uh, I felt described my life and just uh, my skills. This is a digital painting, so what I do is I paint this on uh, Photoshop CS6, and um, I have a tablet that I will uh, draw on and it will show up on the computer screen itself. And so from there I can do a sketch, uh, my outline and everything, and then I go from there and begin to paint it and add color in itself. Um, so it's pretty much digital, but just our traditional mix with a digital twist, which is kind of like where everything's going now. I think it's just a great honor just because it just gets me out to see everyone else's work, interact with everyone, and see, uh, get feedback on my piece as well, see what I can improve on, what people think, um, what they like, what they don't like. Um, I feel like it just, um, I guess, displays my work and skill set and just makes, it's all worth it, I guess, I don't know, um, but definitely benefits me and, and just makes me feel grateful for it. So Carlos and I talked, um, he negotiated a fantastic deal for himself like any artist would do. And, um, and I now own two pieces of art from Carlos Martinez, and I'm very happy about it. Yeah. Thank you again. Absolutely. It's my pleasure, man. It's always an exciting event for the students and parents. Uh, you can see the emotion on their face, of the excitement, being recognized for all of their hard work. We have some very talented artists and some hardworking artists, and to have their work chosen to be put on the wall and celebrated tonight really means a lot to our families and students.